What's up, Fight Fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss last Saturday's bout between Chris Weidman and Bruno Silva. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly and help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Chris Weidman defeating Bruno Silva by unanimous decision. I'm not sure if it was changed to technical decision. In an ending that was full of controversy in a night that was full of controversy, right? You had Weidman who won the first two rounds and then hit Bruno Silva with a double eye poke. Dude went down literally holding his face. There was eye pokes even before that in the fight, and they were never really truly addressed the way that they should have been towards Chris Weidman, right? And Chris, you know, these gloves are a huge problem. Let's start with there. I don't think he's doing this intentionally. It's Chris Weidman. People are giving him shit for celebrating in the way that he did, but you, you saw him with the double eye poke. The guy went down. He followed up, and then that was pretty much it. The ref called to a stop. He didn't see the eye pokes. But once they saw the eye pokes, the first two rounds were over. Those go to the judges. And then I think, if I'm not, I don't remember exactly when it was that that fight ended. Two minutes, 18 seconds into the third round. So I don't know if that, I guess they judged it. So like, yeah, technical decision for Chris Weidman. That is the right call, technically, because of how far they've gone into the fight. I don't like how he celebrated, but I mean, after all the inconsistencies that guy has when he gets his victory, like, of course, he's going to celebrate in that fashion. With all of the adversity that he's battled, he just wanted that win. He got his win, you know? It's just, he, I guess he just, it did fucking matter how he got it, right? It sucks the way it ended because it was, it was looking good for Chris. So for him to get that victory the way that he did, even though how good he was looking before the eye pokes, kind of fucking sucks. But I don't think the rematch happens. Bruno Silva himself even said this. I, you know, if given the opportunity, I think Chris moves on. Um, if he does give him the rematch, cool. I'd like to see it. I definitely, I would definitely watch it. I'd like to see what Bruno Silva would do different against the wrestling of Chris Weidman in the second fight. But I think Chris. What I'd really like to see also, if they don't go forward with the rematch, I'd like to see a Hadolfo Vieira fight. I think Chris Weidman's wrestling his size against a jiu-jitsu and the growing striking prowess of Hadolfo Vieira would be, be very interesting. I think that'd be a very good fight. I'd watch it. I think with where Chris is, I think where Vieira is in their careers, I'd watch that fight, and I think it would be a fireworks of a matchup. So I hope people see this video, and I hope that... uh. That actually becomes a thing because I, I think I think that fight is like if 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 Vieira doesn't have a fight booked right now, that's the fight to make, right? As for Bruno, up and down, you know he, he started his UFC career, lots of finishes, and since then is I think since he ran into Gerald Mearshart, he's just really I don't know if it's confidence or what, but he's still dangerous as ever. Finished Brad Tavares, struggled with the wrestling of Chris Weidman, but maybe like a Roman Kapilov, because you got Kapilov coming off of that submission loss to Anthony Hernandez. But with Silva losing this fight, I don't know, man. But I don't know. Maybe Roman Kapilov. That might be a good fight. But there's a lot of there's a lot of things going on in the middleweight division. The top fifteen to twenty five guys, there's a lot of talent in, in the middleweight division. So I think moving forward, Bruno Silva will still have a plethora of matchups for him moving forward. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, kind of sucks that the, the way that that happened. Chris got his win, just not how he wanted it. Sucks that people are giving him shit the way he celebrated, but it is what it is, man. It's the fucking fight game. And, I mean, if you want to describe MMA to anybody, have them watch this event because knockouts, I think it even tied for, like, most knockouts for a fight night or, like, most finishes. But yet, like, still, like, one of the most... Not most exciting, controversial, I don't know, weird weird fight night. You know, fucking Petrowski knocked himself out. Weird, I don't know. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think is next for Chris Weidman and Bruno Silva. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours. Truly help the channel grow. So do it for today, guys. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans. Oh.